There is an old proverb that says that although the tongue has no bones, it has broken millions of them. I believe that to be a true proverb. Let's talk about it. I'm going to read a scripture to you that's very dear to me. Genesis 35, 16 through 19. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was a little way to come to Ephrata. And Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was departing, for she died, that she called his name Ben-Onai, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way of Ephrata, which is in Bethlehem. Amen. Now, Ben-Onai means a son of my sorrow. Benjamin means the son of my right hand. The father stepped in at a time when his wife was dying and giving him this child. She saw that it would be Ben-Onai, the son of my sorrow. Yet the father spoke up and said, This will be Benjamin, the son of my right hand. In other words, he spoke something into this child, and this child became exactly what his dad said he would be. Because there is life and there is death in the tongue. The actual scripture that we're looking for is Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. When I come across a scripture like this, I can't help myself but to look at it and kind of dissect it. So let's take a quick look at this scripture. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So there's two different things here that are in the power of the tongue. All right? And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What is it? Is it life or is it death? So what is it? What is it talking about? Life and death are in the power of the do- of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So what is it? Well, I think the answer is both. If you love life, then your life will be found in the power of your tongue. If you like death, then that death will be found in the power of the tongue. The Bible says the tongue can no man tame. It is a deadly evil full of uh, deadly poison wherewith bless we God and curse men. That's in James, by the way. So the tongue is full of life and the tongue is full of death. And if you love life, you'll get life. If you speak life and power and truth and faith. But if you seek and love death, your tongue will speak of death and death will come to you. You'll have a death of conscience. You'll have death of joy, death of happiness. So life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, the fruit thereof being life or death. And never forget that when Jesus or God himself made the entire universe and all that is in them is, he simply did that by the speaking of the word. He said, let there be light. And there was light. And he caused the light to divide from the darkness, and the darkness he called night, and the light he called day. So everything that we see is created because God spoke. And God has given us also power in the life of our voices. So we can enjoy the power of life, or we can also feel the coldness of death. So as you're going about your business today, as you go from your day-to-day job, I pray that you will remember that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. My friends, speak life.